Baba. Today, today is that special day. Today is that wonderful day that the Lord God of Almighty has made and bring us all together here in one accord. Somebody shout hallelujah. We are here not by our power, neither was it on our mind, but by his spirit, the Lord God Almighty make everything excellent, make everything perfect for us to gather here this day. I say glory be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Wherever you are, I want you to open your mouth and begin to praise the name of the Lord for he is good. I want you to open your mouth and begin to praise the name of the Lord for he is good. I want you to open the, your mouth and begin to turn the kings of kings for he is excellent. For he is excellence in our life. For he is wonderful in our life. For he has done what no man can do. Hey. If you reason that word, reason that word, I want you to reflect a bit on that word. God doing what no man can do. God doing what no man could have done for you. God did it. Yes, somebody say, yes, he did it for me. He did it for me. He did it for my family. He did it. He did it. And he did it again. He did it and he will continue to do it. Hey, Shadabaka Siata is bubbling in my spirit. Yes, it's bubbling. If you remember what the Lord has done, mm, no wonder the songwriter says, when I remember what the Lord has done, hey, I will never go back. Any move. Oh, when I remember what the Lord has done, I have no reason. There is no reason for me to turn back. There is no reason for me to turn back. There is no reason. There is no reason, is no reason for us to turn back. When I remember what the Lord has done for us, when I remember what the Lord has done for you and I, when you think and remember what the Lord has done for you, done for your family, done in the life of your children, done in the life of your loved ones, done in the life of your spouse, done in the life of your siblings, done in the life of your nibblings, done in the life of your siblings. Hey, Sharabaka, you have no other. You have no excuse. Than to thank him, than to thank him. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate him. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate him. Begin to worship him. Begin to appreciate him this moment. Abba Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We glorified 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 your name. For we remember all the good things. Oh, Shalabaga Sina Riaka Labaga Santaya. Hey, Kalaba Sikayata. Riga Sikalaba Shatakaya. Riba Kasunde de Bagasiata. Tango, tango, thank him, thank him. Even that pain, even that pain, I'm talking for you that is having that pain on your angle, on your angle. Libra Casiata, Lapa Casigata. Even that pain after this meeting, before this meeting, before the end of this meeting, you will feel that pain no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him for that pain is gone. For that pain is gone. I say that pain, yes, that pain is gone. You can shake that leg. You can shake that left leg right now. Ah, Shadako, you can shake that ankle. You can shake that ankle. That pain is gone. That pain is gone. Laka it was like breathing. It was like breathing. You feel it now. Hey, you didn't know what happened. You didn't know how it come about. But that pain is gone. That pain is gone. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Our Father, we thank you. We thank you this day. We thank you this day. Open your mouth and thank him. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Open your mouth and worship him. Open your mouth and magnify this name. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Thank him for his provision. Thank him for his his kindness. Thank him for his love. Thank him for his blessings. Thank him for his manifold mercy. Thank him. 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 The loka dubaka sika yata ribaka sika yashanta rabaka siata rababaka sanda rabaka sika yata ikapa yata kanda badaba in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord just remove her baka ribada. Ekata, Libata, Rapata, Sikayata, Ekashata, Librata, Zikalaba, Rakata. That 
evil umbrella. Mm. God just removed that evil umbrella. God just removed that evil umbrella. God just removed ev that evil umbrella. You were going about, and that evil umbrella was covering. He was covering. He was covering. God just removed it. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for that evil umbrella that was covering. He did not allow the blessings. You know when somebody that is if you are walking and the rain is falling and someone else is holding umbrella, you will not know whether the rain is coming down, whether the rain is falling, because you will not feel the rain on you. Mm. That was the situation for someone here tonight. Ah, There was an evil umbrella that the enemy was using to cover you, was using to cover you anywhere you go. He will cover you because ah, you were moving around and this evil umbrella was covering you. He did not allow good things. No wonder the blessings did not manifest in your life. No wonder, but today, in the name that is above every other name, every evil umbrella that was covering your blessings, that was covering your blessings, that was hiding you, that was hiding you, that was hiding you, is being removed in the mighty name of Jesus. I said that evil umbrella is being removed in the mighty name of Jesus. That evil, open your mouth and begin to declare wherever that evil umbrella comes from. To this moment, from this moment, it is removed. It is removed. It is removed. Somebody declare, say, cash fire. Say cash fire, say cash fire, say cash fire, say cash fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, la ba 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 kasika, la ba ba kasika yata. That evil umbrella, kasuta kaya. The fire of God is consuming them. The fire of God is consuming them. The fire of God is consuming them. E shata kasika la ba. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know who is this person as you are going forward. These three people are following you. They are, they are trailing. Hey, look at They are trailing you. You are going forward and they are trailing. By the time you turn back, they will hide. You will not see them. You will not know, but you feel, you feel that someone is following you. You feel it. You have that strong feeling that there are people, that people are following you. But when you turn your back to look, you are not seeing anyone. If you are that person, say, I am the one. When you are going, when you are going out, you always turn back to look. You always turn back to look because you have that feeling that people are following you. But when you turn back, you are not seeing that person. Today is the last day of such people in your life. I said, today is the last day of such people in your life. Today is the last day of such people in your life. Wherever you are, everyone that is here, open your mouth and declare, whosoever, whatsoever power that is follow me wherever I'm going today by the power that raised Jesus from the dead destroy let them be destroyed 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ these people they are not following you so that they will do good things to you they are following you so that at the time when good things show forth, they will come in and scatter it. They are following you to understand, to know your movement, to know where you are going to, so that they will scatter things in your life. Whosoever, every every make sure spirit that they have assigned to you, open your mouth and begin to declare, every make sure spirit that the enemy they have assigned to me today in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, by the fire, Holy Ghost, power, Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, separate them from me. Look back at it. Them, detach them from my life, detach them from my life, detach them from my family, detach them from my family, detach them from the life of my children, detach them from the life of my loved ones. Open your mouth and begin to declare Zakuta Kina Bakasiata, Rabakasakayaraba, Ikatakayata. No wonder they know everything that is coming to your life because they have assigned this spirit, they have assigned this demonic spirit to follow you about and they are trailing you. You enter, you enter bus, they enter, you enter car, they enter. And you turn back sometimes. Yes, leave back as sometimes you are driving and you look back. You look back, you look the back seat. You are, you are the only one in the car. You look your back seat, you look your back seat, and there is nobody. And you feel that there are people at the back seat. Mm. 
Kachata Kayana. Lima Kasikayata. Oh, Sila Pakayata. Today is that last day. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume them. Where the, let the fire of God consume them. Wherever they come from, let the fire of God consume them. Wherever they come from, let the fire of God consume them. Wherever they come from, let the fire of God consume them. Wherever they come from, let the fire of God consume them. Wherever you come from, La Pakasakayata. La Kashata Kayata. Da Kasikalamada. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Liba Kasika Yada. E katakanda makasata. They have destroyed so many things. But in this year 2024, they will not destroy again. Somebody said they have they succeeded in the year that passed. But in this year 2024, they will not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not succeed. For this year is my year of double impact. No more toiling. They cause you to be toiling without anything to show for. But in this year, 2024, no more toiling in the mighty name of Jesus. No more toiling in the mighty name of Jesus. No more toiling in the mighty name of Jesus. No more toiling in the mighty name of Jesus. No more toiling in the mighty name of Jesus. It is my year of double impact. In the mighty name of Jesus, impact to do great things, impact to go higher, impact to us, excel in the Makasuata, in every capacity of my life, impact to do exploit, impact to do mighty things, impact to do great mighty things. It is my year. Somebody say, It is my year, it is my year, it is my year, it is my year. It is my year. It is my year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm, thank you, Father. Mm. It is my year. Oh, Labaka Sun Laria Shantaya. Eka Sulabaka Sikayata. It is my year. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is my year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, Teach me. Teach me. You are way, oh Lord. Teach me the way to go, oh Lord. Teach me the right thing to do, oh Lord. Teach me what to do at the right time. Teach me, oh Lord. Teach me, oh Lord. Open your mouth and begin to declare, oh Lord, my God. Teach me on the right thing to do. Teach me on what to do. Teach me, teach me, oh Lord. On akuka te kadaba zikala bakayata rabaka sikayata ekashata kaya lipaka sataya nikala ba. Rakataya, 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 Ekapata, Lepashata, Likataya, Rakataya, Ekasataya, Ekashatakaya, Lakadapaya, Rakadaba. Teach me, Lord, in this year 2024. Teach me the right thing to do in the mighty name of Tish. When the Lord teach you. Oh, Kadibaka Sikayata. You will see, you will see, you will even wonder why, how, how, how. But it is the Lord's way because the knowledge is not just coming from you. It is the law that is, that you are being imparted the knowledge to excel. You are being imparted the knowledge to do what? To carry on the activity, to carry on that business, to carry on your day to day life without aim, without fault, in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord teach you the right path to follow in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord teach you the right path to follow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your Bible to Psalms 86. Psalms 86. Psalms 86. Verse 11. Psalms 86. Verse 11. I'm going to read from verse, from verse 11. Mande kasu kashika labadaba zekele prasanta yada lipa kasu. I believe you are there right now. I believe you are there right now. If you are there, say thank you, Jesus. If you are there, say thank you, Jesus. If you are there, say thank you, Jesus. Psalms eighty six. I'm going to read from verse eleven. Verse eleven says, "He said, teach me. He said, teach me your way." Teach me your way, O oh Lord. Teach me your way, O oh Lord. Many people, because they are looking for the way, 
They have gone to different places because they are looking for the right path. They have gone to wrong places because they are looking, they are searching, they have been all ah, that they have misled to the wrong direction. Mm. Because they did not write, ask the right from the right source. Imagine you traveling and you are asking one wrong person <laughs> of direction. You are traveling and you are asking one non-entity out there, yes, of direction. Perhaps you didn't know the area that you are going. You didn't know the road to where you are going to. And you stop and ask. And the person misled you and sent you far off. Have you ever encountered such thing? Have you? But listen, if you're being misled, instead of you going towards your direction, you will be going far away from your, from, you will be going far away from your destiny. You will be going far away from your destiny, yes. You will be going far away from your destiny. But today, in the name that is above every other name, whosoever that is starting to mislead you, may the Lord remove them from our path in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, whosoever that the enemy has programmed that have they have, oh Lord, they have because for some people, you know, they, you know, they set these people, you know, they program these people, they fix these people, and they stand there waiting without doing any other thing. They are waiting for whom to mislead. Oh, Kalawa, our prayer this night is that whosoever that the enemy has programmed to mislead people, they will not see me. I will not see them in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not see them. I will not see them. They will not see me in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not see them. They will not see me in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not see them. They will not see me in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and open your mouth and pray. La kuta kasikaya le kashata ya la vakasiata lima kasunde le vakasanta la va raba kasika la pashata ya reke de gese teke teke te lipa kashata kata kaya la va raba kasiata hekele va zunde le gede riba kasiata ya raka shata kaya la raka shata kata ya la de ba kasun la la his li si de va rapa kashata ya uso eba the enemy has programmed to be let me whosoever the enemy has programmed to stand on my path to be let me father today remove them remove them by fire 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ shelebaka santa ore babaka sulla baka sikayata Rababa ka sala pa ka yata rika sata ka ya ure baba ka sun ta yada raka shata ka ya raka shata ka yada lipa ka sata ka ya raka shata ka yada lapa ka shata ka ya lipa ka shata ka ya rababa raka ta ka ya eka shata ka ya eka lapa ta ka ya rapa ka sata ka ya rababa raka shata ya eka shata ka ya eka shata ka ya lapa ka ta ka ya raka shata ka ya Ikapatakaya, whosoever, wherever they are, 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 shall, wherever they are. Lakada pakada, rakata kataya, rakasha takaya, ekasha takaya, likasha takaya, ekasha takaya, ripata kataya, ekasha takaya, rapaka pataya, rakasha takaya, rakasha takaya, ekala patakaya, rapaka takaya, rakasha takaya, rakasha takaya, rakasha takaya, wherever they are, wherever they are doing, whosoever that manipulated them, fix them on my way. Father, today, remove them. Father today, by your father, by your fire, by your fire, remove them from my path, by your fire, remove them from my path, by your father, remove them from my life, by your fire, remove them from my life, by your fire, remove them from my life, by your fire, remove them from my life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Malika Sukali Shatakayada, Rima Kasekeke Seketeke. Laka sukaya shanta in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we are still on that verse 11. He said, I will walk in your truth. 
He said, teach me in your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Who, who want to walk in the truth of the Lord? Because when you walk in his truth, you will not see destruction. When you walk in his truth, you will not see disappointment. When you walk in his truth, when the enemy rise up against you, the Lord God Almighty will raise a standard against them. When you walk in his truth, you will become an overcomer. When you walk in his, in his truth, victory will always be yours. When you walk in his truth, you will not be done credit. When you walk in his truth, you will be promoted because his truth is power. His truth make it way. His truth is life. His truth is the wisdom that this world is seeking. When you walk in his truth, when the Lord put you in his truth, your path will be, will your path will be straight. It will not be crooked like others. Maka Sikayata, Laba is the Lord that make every crooked path to be straight. So when you walk in his truth, your path will not be crooked in any form in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody's ask God, say, Father, my father, my father, put me in your path. Put me in your truth. Let me walk in your truth. Let me walk in your truth. Let me walk in your truth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, unite my heart to fear your name. Unite my heart to fear your name. You see, in the world today, many people are doing things without the fear of God. But when you have the fear of God in you, when you have the fear of God in you, you will be able to excel. Because when you have the fear of God, you will not go astray. You will not go about doing the things that will not please God. When you have the fear of God, with you. He will guide you. He will guide you. And that will be what will direct your steps. The fear of God is the truth that we are seeking for. The fear of God is a treasure. The fear of God is, is costly. It's costly. That's why a lot of people cannot, cannot maintain it. Cannot maintain it. Cannot maintain it. Many people want to act the way the world acted. They want to fill among with the world. As such, the fear of God is not in them. When you see such people, they have... The fear of God is not in them. May the Lord God Almighty give us, allow us, unite our heart, unite our heart to fear his name in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, may the Lord God Almighty unite our heart to fear his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Unite our heart to fear his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Unite our heart to fear his name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In the book, in James chapter, James chapter 4, James chapter 4, verse 17. James chapter 4, verse 17. He mm. said, therefore to him that knoweth to do good. If you don't, if you don't have the truth in you, you will not be able to know the good, or you will not be able to, you know, you will, you you will take everything as the way you like it. You will just take everything very like. That's why a lot of people they go about committing all kind of sins, all kind of atrocity. They don't feel. They don't feel remorse because they don't have the truth in them. But when the truth is in you, you will not be able to, nobody, you will not be, you will not make such attempt to try some certain things because the fear of God is in you. James chapter 4, verse 17 said, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not. You know, when you have the fear of God, you will know how to do, you will know the truth and you will not be able, you will know the truth and you will know the bad thing. And, and, and in the book of James, he said, those who know it to do good and do it, it not, to him, it is sin. So when you have the truth in you, you will know the right thing to do and you, you, you will act, you will do the right thing. You know, a lot of people, they know the right thing to do, but they will choose to do the wrong thing. They will choose to do the wrong thing. Mm. That's why... That's how I'm saying, unite our heart, unite our heart to fear, to fear, to fear you are there. Unite our heart. Hmm. Unite our heart. Because if your heart is not in order, you will not be able to do the right thing. Unite my heart. Unite my heart. 
That means a heart, a heart of one man can be shut up. A heart of one person can be shut up. He said, unite my heart to fear your name. So if your heart is shut up, you will not be able to do the right thing. A shut up man is a shut up man. A shut up heart is, is, is a shut up man. When your heart is shut up, you are already shut up because you will not be able to do the right thing. A shattered heart is a confused man. A shattered heart is a man without direction. A shattered heart is a man that is walking to nowhere. He's walking endlessly. When God unites your heart, and somebody will say, my heart is just one. So how will my heart be shut up? You are no longer focused. You are no longer focused because you don't have the truth in you. It's only those who know the truth that their heart will be one, that you are, their heart will be united. Amen. And those that their heart have been united, they are able to do the right thing. That's why James chapter 4, verse 17, he said, therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and do it, it not, to him is it, it is a sin. Yes. Yes. But when the Lord direct your path, you will be able to do the right thing and the right thing. Many of us, because we have neglected the right thing that, we, that we're supposed to do, that's why we found ourselves in a place that we are not supposed to. Because we refuse to seek the, the, the face of the Lord when we're supposed to seek. We, that was the right thing. We suppose, we, because we refuse, we neglected the Lord at the time we're supposed to seek him the more. We found ourselves in a, a location that we, a location that we don't know what is happening, a location that we know that we have no business in such a location. But may the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus and direct our path and direct our path in the mighty name of Jesus and direct our path in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord help us tonight and direct our path in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord help us tonight and direct our path in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord help us tonight and direct our path in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord help us tonight and direct our path in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because when you neglect it, you thought that you are doing it for somebody. But it was God that sent you. It was the work of God. Because you go out there and God lay it in your spirit. Follow this way. Everybody's talking of good Samaritan today. What about that good Samaritan if you have followed another way? If the good Samaritan have taken a shortcut, no, look at it. If a good Samaritan has taken it a wrong, a wrong way, he wouldn't have met that man. But because he was to go and do the work, to go and help, to go and assist, he has to follow the right path. As the Lord sent you, on Aaron, on a, on a certain direction, and you choose to go a different direction. You want to, you, you want, you need a, you want to take a shortcut to that destination. What about the people that you're supposed to pass along the way? But when the Lord directs you on the right path, because it is through that, that path that you can meet your head path. It is on that path that you meet those that, that matters in you, that, that will affect your life positive, positively, yes. But if you neglected the right path, you meet the wrong people because that was not the path that you're supposed to follow. 
We should be mindful on the path that we follow. We should be mindful of the path that we follow. That's why the, the verse says, teach me your way. Teach me your way. Teach me your way, O Lord. The way of the Lord is not just the path. It's the way of life, the way we live our life. If you, if, 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 you, if you neglect the way of the Lord, living a life, living the life that reflects God in you, you will affect people around you negatively, which is not God's purpose in your life. God's purpose in your life is for you to affect people around you positively. And add values to their life. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. He said, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. We are, we are asking God today that God should teach us his words. What are you going to do with it? When you find yourself on the right path, what are you going to do? Will you allow listeners to take over you? And when you allow blessing them to come upon you, the enemy will sneak in. That's why you need to be at a lot at all times. That's why we are praying without season. He said, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. So you are being led and you are rendering an assistance, you are working, and you feel that you are working for the people around that place, do it with all your heart, because God has something in store for you in that very place. Do it. He said, ask. He said, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord. So whatsoever you are doing, do it with all your heart because you are doing this thing for the Lord. Don't look at the people around. Don't look at people and say and say that you are working for this certain set of people. No, it is the Lord's will that you have to carry out such assignment. So when you carry out such assignment, carry it out with all your heart, not feeling that you are carrying it out because of the people in that uh, on that environment. But just do it, do it as if, do it as walking. Let the work be that you are walking for the Lord, not for a man, not for human. And when you have such mindset, you are, the result of your of your prayers will not be delayed. The result of your prayer will not be delayed. Because on many occasions we feel that we are working for the people. That's why. That's why things becomes the way it is. But when you carry out that assignment, when you walk in any capacity that you find yourself, you know many people will say, I'm not a leader in any capacity. But God has deposited something in you that there must be someone that is looking up to you. There must be someone that would need assistance where you are. It might be verbally, it might, it might be in terms of counseling, and you can just counsel the person and that give the person a word, and that word will change that person's life. And when you hold on, if, if you refuse to render that help when it matters most, you have the if that person you have deprived, you have denied yourself, you have, it is the same, just as the book of James, James put it, James chapter 4 verse 17, that you know the right thing to have, the right thing to, to do, but you choose not 
and God, has, it, it has been recorded as sin for you because you choose not to do the right thing. May the Lord have mercy on all in every capacity that we have to render help, that we have to render service positively to human and to God, and we choose not to render such service. May the Lord have mercy on us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I know many of many many of us here, we are found of ourselves in one way or the other, where we refuse to carry out the assignment that the Lord God Almighty has given unto us. We refuse to carry out God's assignment, and we are asking God for more. We are asking God for more blessings. What is this? What is this? We refuse to do the one that God is asking us to do, yet we are asking God to give more and more to us. What is this all about? It is high time that you go to God and say, oh Lord, my father, Ah, Kasatakaya, with my ignorance. Perhaps it is your ignorance. Out of your ignorance, perhaps it was of you because you boldly refused to acknowledge the power of God in your life. And as such, you didn't want to act according to his will, according to his direction. But remember, for, remember what Psalms 86 verse 11 says. He said, teach me your way, O Lord. Teach me your way. Teach me your way. In wherever you are, you have that ability to carry out God's instruction in any location that you are, you have that capability, you have that ability to carry out God's instruction. May you carry out God's instruction without delay henceforth in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, may you carry out the Bakasika the Bakasiata. May you carry out that God's assignment in any capacity that you find yourself without delay in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 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 Carry out the good job, the good work of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. May you do the right thing at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, may you do the right thing at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you do the right thing at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you do the right thing at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you do the right thing at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the, the, the penalty to pay for neglecting to do the right thing at the right time is so expensive. Is so expensive. Someone that fails to take precaution of, of, of carrying out a certain, a certain task, when he fell, the repercussion is quite expensive to carry. You didn't get it. I said someone that neglected neglected the rules that neglected that neglected the rules that he's supposed to observe when carrying out a certain art when he fails when he fails or when that art when that art fell he will pay for it dearly in Rabakasukayata, he pays, he pays, and it's quite expensive. Listen, just for example, you are working in a company, and before you enter a certain region, a, a certain area in that particular place, you're supposed to switch off the machine. You're supposed to switch off the machine. If you refuse to, if you neglect the rules that you're supposed to switch off that machine, then you enter without putting it off. That's why you see a lot of people, they went to work and they come back with their arm being the, the machine, you know, machine has, have cut off their hands because they, they did not observe. They did not observe the rules of that particular place of that work that they, that task that they carry out. Yes. 
not. They did not. There's a, there's a certain a, a certain gap. He put on the machine, and all the times, this machine, if you put your hand inside, because of how it's it's a kind of pressing machine, you press iron and flat the iron. So when the machine comes, it comes with a full force. And the switch is always at the back to switch. So that they have to carry your hand back to put on the, when you want the machine to come down, you carry your hand back to put on the, the machine. And it's always one person that's supposed to operate that machine. On the day that is, he was leaving the company, he was about to leave the company. He has to show the, the new person that comes in, this is how to operate the machine. You that has been operating this machine for quite a long time, at the process of showing the person, you decided to do the wrong thing, or you failed to carry out all the necessary, the, the, to observe all the, the, the necessary rules that you're supposed to observe, and your hand was inside. And guess what? The day that he's supposed to leave the company was the day that the machine pressed his hand. And before he could quickly withdraw his hand, the machine cut off with his fingers. And his fingers was flat. Yes. And there was no two ways about it just to remove it. And that was it. So it doesn't matter the particular day. It doesn't matter that you have been doing the right thing for so long and you choose not to do the right thing at a certain day. And the, the price is quite expensive. May you not pay. May you not pay. May you not pay for... Mm, I say, may you not pay for what? May you not pay. May you not pay that expensive, expensive price. May you not pay that expensive price in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, may you not pay that expensive price in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because it's, it's quite expensive. It can cost, it can, it can take, for some people, it takes their life. It takes their life. And they, they come about, oh, just a our sisters say, an evil day. Yes, it becomes an evil day because you neglected, you chose not to do the right thing. May we not abandon our, may we not abandon to do the right thing at the right time in the mighty name of Jesus. Teach us your way, O oh Lord. The person you need to speak to, you need to preach to, preach. Do not be afraid. Many of us, we fear to preach the word of God out there. The person that you can, the, you know, the person, that very person, he will open a conversation. And the end of the conversation might be the way that God wanted to use the blessing. But because you didn't, you didn't speak out at the right time. You didn't preach. You didn't just invite the person. Just an invite. You didn't do it. And the person will walk past you by. And you didn't meet the person again. And that was the end of everything. And you miss that person once and you miss it for life. That price is quite expensive. Because if you have established conversation, if you have established a conversation with that person, that will have served. It will have served as a background or you will have served and that major point that turning point in life that turning point between you and that person that, that turning point it will turn you from being a stranger to that person you will now become a cordial friend a cordial friend a Christian friend, a Christian brother, a Christian sister.
may you not fail to do the right thing at the right time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you not fail to do the right thing at the right time in this year, 2024, in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord teach you his way. May the Lord teach you his way. May the Lord teach you his words. May the Lord teach you his words. May the Lord teach you the right way to follow. May the Lord teach you the right way to follow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is, there is a common saying that says, follow who know road. When you follow, you follow, you just follow. Let the Lord teach you so that people will be following you. You did not come to just be a follower, be following people, follow people. You will just be follow, follow, follow. Which kind of follow, follow is that? May the Lord teach you so that you will become the leader that lead people, not you following. Become a leader in your own capacity. And you have people that look up to you. As a brother in church, you are a leader because you can, you affect people's life positively. And people are looking up to you. As a sister in Christ, people are looking up to you. You affect people's life positively. Amen. Amen. Say, may the Lord teach you to be the one leading the path in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Not just being a follower, but the one leading in the mighty name of Jesus. Henceforth, the Lord God Almighty will teach you his word. He will teach you his words in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. He will not allow you to fall. You will not neglect the right thing. Listen. You know the history of Noah quite well. The Lord teach Noah how to make an ark. He did it perfectly because he followed the instruction. When God, there was there was no such thing, there was no such thing before, but the Lord teach him how to do it. So in times of trouble, that's why you see many people flourishing. You see people flourishing in times of disaster. People are making wealth in the time of trouble. And you hear in the time of pandemic, everywhere was dry. So many people were talking, oh, there was no money, there was no... But there were a lot of people that become millionaires during that period. God teach them the path to follow. God show them the right path to follow and they follow it and they did not regret it. May the Lord teach us the right path to follow at the right time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When it matters most, may the Lord God Almighty teach us the right path to follow. He told Noah, just a certain Types of wood. No, back into the wall. He said the window should be this size. He hacked into it. Make room for yourself and your family. He did it. Stock food that will carry you for, for the days, for a particular time, a certain time. And he did it. At the end, they did not lack food during the flood. Did you hear that there was no food in the ark? Or you feel that they did not eat? They ate. But they, they lacked nothing. So in this year, 2024, whether there is scarcity of food, whether there is scarcity, or whether there is pandemic, whether there is any issue, If 
the Lord teach you the path to follow, you will come out successful. You will come out as a widow. Amen. You will come out as a winner. So you might be in a location that things are not going well. Everybody is saying that things are not moving well in that particular place. But because the Lord is with you, the Lord has teach you and unite your heart for good. You will come out. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of such location. All what you need to after is for you to be at the right place at the right time through God's directive. In the morning, I was talking about guardian reading. When you are at the right place at the right time, you will meet your guardian reading. You will not miss out. I pray for you and I this moment. May the Lord God Almighty not allow our heart to be shut. May the Lord unite our heart so that we will fear our cash out of Kayada his name, and follow the right path that he teaches us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have received a lot of instruction on how to go, on where to go, and how to live our life. May we be a May we follow this directive so that we will get to our destination in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not look back. You will not look left. And you will not look right. But you will follow the directive, the directive of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will follow the right path through our Lord Jesus Christ. And you will get to your destination. You will follow the right path. Somebody say, I will follow the right path through Christ Jesus. I will follow the right path through Christ Jesus. In this year, 2024, I walk in the right path through Christ Jesus. I walk to my destination in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I walk in the right direction. 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 I walk to the right direction. I walk in the right direction. I walk in the right direction. In the mighty name of Jesus, I walk in the right direction. I walk in the right direction with God, with Christ Jesus. I walk in the right direction with Christ Jesus. I walk in the right direction. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I walk with the right direction. I walk with our God. I walk with my God. I walk with Him all the time. I walk with Him all the time. I walk with Him all the time in the right direction. In the right direction. In the right direction. In the right direction. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 I walk in the right direction. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Calabai this year, we will not walk in the path of destruction. I will not walk in the path of destruction. I will not walk in the path of the wicked. I will not walk in the path of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not walk in the path. Ekashatakaya, ekala pashada, rakashatakaya, 
Lipa kasatakaya, rakasatakaya, ekapatakaya da, likasi kaya da, rakasada kada, lakasada kada, lakada bada ba, lakasakada ba, ikala pada bada, ikala pada bada, rakasatakaya, lakasatakaya. When you walk according to His plan, the Lord will establish you. When you walk in His path, the Lord will establish you. When you walk in His path, the Lord will establish you. When you walk in His path, the Lord will Lord will establish you in Psalms 24. Mm. In Psalms 24, he says, Lord, he said, The earth is the Lord's and all is fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to the idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob's, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your head, O you gate. And be lifted, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the kings of glory shall come in. You, who is the king of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, lift up your heads, O you gate, lift up your everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory, the Lord of hosts, he is the king of glory. When the Lord direct your path, the cat will lift up his head. I say every gate, the gate, the gate, the gate will lift up their heads and you will walk therein because you are walking in the path of the Lord. When they when you walk in the path of the Lord, the gate, the gate will lift up their heads. They will lift up your heads for you to walk through in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are this year, wherever you are in this year 2024, every gate, every gate, every gate, every gate that has been placed, a calcium, every gate that is standing, a every every gate that is walking a calcium, lift up your head. Lift Lift up your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your head. Lift up your head in the mighty name of Jesus. When you walk with the Lord, when you walk in his path, get, we will be lifted. The get, the get, the get. That was blessed. I don't know where Kasukayata, man, Debra Kasiata. The ancient get will lift up your will lift up your heads. The ancient get will lift up your will lift up their hands. The ancient get will lift up your, their heads for you to walk in. In the mighty name of Jesus, Ekashatakayada, Libra Kasikaita. Listen and listen well. Where destiny lies, the enemy likes to go and lay a gate around it so that you will not be able to walk in freely. That's why Kadiba Kasiata, when you walk in the path, when you walk in that path that the Lord has directed you, He will command the gate to lift up their heads. In this moment, in this night, every gate standing against you, every gate walking against you, lift up your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Get Katukayad, ancestral gate, ancestral gate, ancestral gate that does not allow you to come out from the family, to come out from the family, to come out from that anger, to come out from that captivity, to come out from that periphery. Today, by the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, we call that kid. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Oh, you get. Lift up your 
head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Oh, you get. Lift up your head. Oh, you get. Lift up your head. Oh, you get. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because it is the part that the Lord God of Abraham has directed you. Every gate, every gate on that path, they will, their heads will be lifted up for you to walk through. I said their head will be lifted up for you to walk through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. There are so many people because they have chosen the wrong path. The gate on that those path, the gate on those path will now hinder them from going forward. I don't know which direction you are now. Perhaps you have missed it. It is time for you, for you to ask God. Say, teach me. Teach me, oh Lord. Teach me your way. Teach me. Lead me into your, the right path so that I will get to my destination. Destination. Going, getting to your destination is important in life because if you are not getting to your destination, eh, there is the, 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 there's that probability for you to miss out in life, the probability to miss out is higher. And that's why we are praying tonight. We are praying tonight, say, Father, oh, Shalabakayata, any cat of my way be lifted. Any cat of my way be lifted. Any cat of my way be lifted. Any cat of my path be lifted. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every cat. In this year, 2024, every cat that link you to your blessings in this year, 2024, let them lift up their head for you to walk in, to walk in into that destination, to walk in into that your location, to walk in to where your blessings lies. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree for you and I, you will not be locked outside in the mighty name of Jesus. I said you will not be locked out in the mighty name of Jesus because a lot of people, they are being locked out from where their blessings lies. No wonder they are toiling. No wonder they were toiling. No wonder they, are, they were toiling. But because in this year, 2024, it is a year of no more toiling. It was so ever any kid that has closed his mouth, any kid that has closed his doors, be open in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Be open. Get 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 be open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get be open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get be open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get be open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get be open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can't be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Can't be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Can't be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Can't be open. Can't be open. Can't be open. Can't be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Can't be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the doors of your gate be open today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be open tonight in the mighty name of Jesus as you walk. According to the plans of the Lord, let the gate be open for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because without gate being open, you cannot go in. You will be struggling. You will be toiling all around. Run about, run about. No wonder just, uh, just imagine that the door, the, 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 the walls of Jericho did not open. What would have happened? Even when he did, remember, the children of Israel were singing around. They were moving around. They were singing around. Run and around, run and around. There was no door. There was no, there was no space. There was no door. The gate was not open for them to go in. But when the walls break, when the, the gate was shattered, when they walls break, the gate was shattered and they were able to penetrate. And tonight, we are praying every wall that is holding the gate, that is holding the gate to stand firm, be crumbled, be crumbled. That ancient door, that ancient gate, that ancient wall, we say crumble, crumble tonight, crumble tonight, crumble tonight, crumble tonight in my life, in my family, crumble in the mighty name of Jesus, crumble, 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 scatter, 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 scatter in the mighty name of Jesus, every gate, wherever, wherever they are, every wall, wherever they are, Holding the gate to stand firm, shattered, shattered, shattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ladabaga sukala pakashatakaya. 
Let every gate, because we are walking according to God's plan, let the gate be open for us to get to our destination. In the mighty name of Jesus, get of our life, get of our life, get of our life, be open, get of our life. Zala kasataya, la kasatakaya, get be open, get be open, get be open. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, la husi kala shatakanda yada, la bakasika yata. When the gate open, you will see everything working. Hey, you will see lines falling in places for you. In the right place, in the right place, in the right place. You will see things falling in the right place. You will see things just working out accordingly. And you will, see, you will not understand. You will not understand. But it's just that the gate has been open. When the gate is open for a man, all things have passed away. All things will definitely pass away. It will be new things that will be coming in. I decree, I decree, I decree upon your life. I said, let the gate, let the old gate, let the old gate give way in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the old gate give way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As you teach us our way, Lord, as you teach us your way, Lord, as you teach us your way, Lord, we will not miss out. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this year 2024, we will not miss out by any means. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody will deceive us. We will not be deceived. We will not be deceived. We will not be deceived. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will not be deceived. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will not be deceived. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lahu shatakada pakatakaya. Lakasatakayata. Rakashatakataya. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our gate has been opened because the Lord has taught us the way to follow. He has shown us the right path to follow. And as we walk in that path, every gate on our way, every gate on our path, they are all opened in the mighty name of Jesus. I said they are all opened in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all opened in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all opened in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all opened in the mighty name of Jesus. Zalaka sata kaya daba kataya raka shata kaya daba kasan kaya da lika suka la paka shata kaya raba daba kata kaya da raka shata kaya da laka shada bada bada raka si kaya taka daba kasi kaya ta in Jesus mighty name laka da ikala ba say I will press you in the Psalms eighty six verse twelve he said I will press you O Lord my God with all my heart and I will glorify you and name forevermore because the lord has done great things because the lord has taken you back to the right path i will praise the name of the lord because the lord has provided for me i will praise the name of the lord because the lord has made my head to be higher than that of my enemy i will praise the name of the lord because the lord has given me victory i will praise the name of the lord because the lord has given me what i want in life i will praise the name of the lord oh Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For you have done, you have, you have done what no man can do in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I will glorify your name forever. Somebody open your mouth and begin to glorify the name of the Lord. Begin to glorify the name of the Lord. Begin to glorify the name of the Lord. Go ahead and glorify his name. 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 Laka sukayata, nabakatakaya, iksadabakata, rakatakaya, iksatakaya, lapakatakaya, rakashatakaya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lakatakatakatakayata, lakadapakayata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Whosoever the enemy has succeeded in the past to mislead him or her to the wrong path. As we pray this night for God to teach us his way, to take us back and fix us in the right path. May you return and follow the right path in the mighty name of Jesus. Return and follow the right path. Return and follow the right path in the mighty name of Jesus. Return and follow the right path in the mighty name of Jesus. Return and follow the right path in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You will no longer lost. You will no longer lost. You will no longer lost. You will follow the right path. You will no longer be misled. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your greatness. Thank you, Lord, for your mighty work. Glory, honor, and adoration be unto your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you for being part of today's service. May the Lord God Almighty bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for those that have testimony. Keep on sending your testimony. A lot of things are happening. And see you in the morning. Yes, on Faith Clinic. On Faith Clinic. Send in your testimony. Do not keep your testimony. Do not keep your testimony. Send it at the right time. Do not delay to send it. Sending your testimony is that you are ministering to the people. You are telling people, see what the Lord has done in my life. See what the Lord has done in my life. So do not delay to send it. It is time for you to send it. It is time for you to release that testimony. Go ahead and release it in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and release it in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and bless you real good in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. See you on Faith Clinic. Amen. And uh, Elder, I send a message. I send a. Uh, I send a, me a message to you. Confirm you read the message. Confirm and reply, because I think you have you have not read the message yet. Shut up, Peter. Elder, you have not you have not seen the you have not read the message yet. So go ahead and open your WhatsApp and respond to the message. Thank you. God bless you. And also, mm, let me check. Is she still here? Oh crap. No. Mama Anne is not here. No. She's not here. Mm. All right, all right, all right. All right, people of God, thank you and thank you and thank you. God bless you. God bless you and bless you real good in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.